Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be working on three rustic farmhouse Christmas decor projects. So let's get started with project number one. What I have here, these are three pieces from Dollar Tree and I have a spindle I got at Habitat for Humanity that I cut down to 10 inches. Now if you can't get a hold of a spindle, the wood part of a Dollar Tree plunger would work great, but you want to make sure that both ends are flat. Okay, and now this piece here, as you saw, had an apple on top, and I have to take the apple off, remove the paper or whatever, but if you can find those square, chunky, unfinished wood pieces in the craft section, that would be great, and you can skip all that prep. And then I have two more home decor signs here uh, that are two different sizes, and of course, you know, remove the heart off the one, the burlap and that off the other, sanded everything down, and now spray painting with matte black spray paint. Then I'm taking my 80 grit sandpaper and my sanding block, and I'm sanding everything up to get it all rustic for me. And then I'm going to use E6000 to glue all this together. Now E6000 likes to slide around till it sets. So when I go to glue together, I will glue like two pieces at a time, let it set for an hour, glue the other piece, let it set for an hour and so on until all the pieces are together. And then I let it set 24 hours. Now in the top tray of our lamp post here, I wanted my jar we're going to be using later to sit up a little higher. So I have these package of wood pieces from Dollar Tree. I cut a piece to fit, spray painted, sanded, and glued it in. Now these are just some pieces of greenery, bits and pieces we're going to be using to decorate the bottom portion of our lamp post. And they're just bits and pieces like from Dollar Tree, from Hobby Lobby, from Joann's. You can use whatever little bits of greenery and design it how you want it to look, um, you know, that suits your taste. I like my things like this to look a little bit more snowy and things like that. So all the pieces I chose are, you know, they, they have that snowy look or that glittery look with pine cones and things like that. So I usually just kind of arrange down the front and the left side when I'm doing things like this. That's just my preference. You may want to go all the way around. You might want to go up the more of the lamppost a little bit. It's just however you want to do it. So I'm just kind of showing you even tiny little one inch pieces using these beaded berries which are my favorite that I get at Hobby Lobby beaded berry picks and I do try to make it look a little bit symmetrical on both sides but I will use different you know pieces uh, to kind of keep it looking a little bit more fun. Love to use these long pine cones. I'm going to tuck these in. A little bit of pit berries and bells. Anything you want, like I said, and just glue it how you want. The glue I'm using today for my all my projects is Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. I love it. It sticks well. It tacks and holds within a minute. It's great. I will have a link down in the description box for you if you're interested. So here's what it looks like when we're all done, that bottom portion. And now I have a bow that I'm going to put underneath the top. I just uh, pleated the ribbon back and forth so that I have five loops on each side. And then I'm tying it together in the middle with a piece of wire. Now this bow sits a little too far back underneath this tray. So I am going to make a little something here this, so I can glue the bow a little bit more forward. What I've got here, these are some pieces from the Tumbling Tower Block game at Dollar Tree. I glued two together, painted and sanded, and I'm going to glue it right up underneath that tray onto that spindle, and that'll help my bow sit a little more forward and give me room to glue this beautiful little frosty pine cone down here. Glue my bow on. And now these are little mini ornaments from Walmart and I have one of the words I put some twine through the little hole and tied a knot made it really short and then I'm just gluing it right between the first two loops of our bow here so it hangs in the position I want and then I've got some rusty bells here these are just from a pick from Joann's and gluing those right in the center of the bow. Now for our lamp to our lamp post, this is a jar from Dollar Tree and I've spray painted the lid, added a little bit of snow here. I got this snow from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to add a little greenery here and a pine cone so it kind of matches the decor that we did at the bottom of our lamp post today. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little lighted tea light. These are of course from Dollar Tree. And then we'll add a little bit of decor to the front of our lamp. These are again mini ornaments from Walmart and I'm just going to remove the ribbon and add my, uh, go ahead and add this to my own twine bow here. And then I'm going to glue a rusty safety pin and bell to the front of this. Now these I rusted myself. I'll have a video tutorial in the description box for you if you want to learn how to do this uh, using normal household supplies. Once this is glued to the front of our lamp and we set this in our lamp post, this project is complete.
this is your first time to my channel, thanks for joining me. Today is Friend Friday Hop, hosted by the amazing Heidi Sambel, and it's really simple. There's going to be a link down in my description box, and when you're finished watching my video, click on that link, and it's going to take you to the next person in the hop, where they will have a link in their description box that you click on, and so on and so forth. Each channel will be a surprise as you are clicking along. Now, this is such a great group of crafters that we have decided to come together and feature this amazing giveaway to one of our lucky viewers. Now how to enter is really simple. You're going to leave a comment on every video, including mine, as you enjoy watching these crafty creations. Now you have until Sunday, December 20th at midnight Eastern Standard Time to enter the giveaway and we will be announcing the winner on Monday, December 21st. So let's move on to project number two. For this project, I'm going to be using these two signs from Dollar Tree and this Dixie Belle chalk paint in the color drop cloth and I will paint all around the perimeter of these signs three coats. Now also using Dixie Belle chalk paint, the color rustic red, I'm going to paint these wood letters that I've had in my supply um, and of course you can get the wood letters from Dollar Tree and then I'll also be painting the little parenthesis that you see down there in the lower right corner. It's a little chipboard parenthesis. You can get these like in the scrapbooking section and stuff of uh, the you know major craft stores and I'm pouncing the paint on with my pouncy brush and I usually will heat set it in between and do two coats. Now with this uh, heart I'm going to use this chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree and it's surprisingly actually a really good paint. I like it and I'll paint front and back of this heart in two coats. Heat setting in between. And now what I've done is I've sanded all my letters in this parenthesis to give a little texture and I'm going to go ahead and do the same to my signs just to make it a little bit more rustic and you can see here how that looks once you sand it just hitting the sharp edges not doing any heavy sanding and you of course can skip this step if you don't want to do any sanding to the letters or those signs or anything like that and of course then I'm going to go ahead and sand my heart as well so it all matches and now I'm just laying my wooden letters down here you know making sure I get them you know where I want them centered on the bottom board and I'll go ahead and glue them on again with Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. Now I'm not going to glue these two signs together. I am keeping them separate for a reason and that's so that I can you know kind of uh, when I lay them one on top of each other I can kind of you know uh, swagger them a little bit so that they have a little bit more personality to them. And then for the top I made my own uh, words days until using my Cricut uh, design space. I have a Cricut Explore Air Machine and the fonts I use were downloaded from defont.com and they are a combination of Smackover and Corona. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this parenthesis down just for some personality but I'm only going to glue half to the bottom sign. I'm going to use this spray glitter I get from Walmart and spray it on. You can see all the cuteness of the glitter that it does on these signs. And then I'm going to glue the little heart, just the bottom portion, onto the bottom sign. And once this is glued on, this project is complete. After two projects, let me introduce myself. My name is Linda. Again, welcome to my channel. I have been a crafter for years and I love to dabble in all sorts of DIY and craft related projects from farmhouse to rustic to paper crafts to primitive and everything in between. I usually love to try and get a video out at least once a week. If you're on Instagram, come say hi. And also, if you're on Facebook, I have a Facebook group. If you'd love to join for more inspiration, I will have the links to Instagram and Facebook in my description box. So now let's get on to project number three. Now for this project, it's a three tree set and I'm going to make the tallest in the set because they are all the same except for the tag that you put on the front of the tree because whatever quote you want to put on it. Now the tallest tree here, this is 12 inches tall and seven and a half inches at the widest width at the base and in each subsequent tree is only an inch smaller in diameter. Now you need two pieces of fabric, but I'm going to use four for this one because my fabric's really thin. 
Before we put this together, we need a little tree trunk and it needs to be a nice, sturdy, kind of big around tree trunk. The ones you can get in the bag at Dollar Tree are perfect or if you get one out of your backyard, the tree trunk needs to hold your tree up. So make sure, like I said, it's nice and sturdy. What I'm doing here first is just pinning off the area where the tree trunk is gonna be glued in. Now, if you are a hot gluer, go ahead and also pin off an area where you would stuff your tree Okay, and then take your hot glue gun and go all the way around, skipping the areas that you have pinned off. I'm going to, of course, take my tree to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew these areas. Now, the opening where I'm stuffing is probably about a three inch opening that I'm not going to sew in. Taking my pins out, of course. Here's my opening for the tree trunk. And my opening where I'm going to stuff. Of course, next up, stuff your tree. You can stuff it as full or as not so full as you want. I'm gonna stuff mine really full. But before I get it all the way stuffed, I'm gonna get about three quarters stuffed. I'm gonna add just enough and I'm gonna glue my tree trunk in. Now I actually glued this piece of tree trunk in about halfway. So only maybe an inch of that wood sticks out and I'm making sure that my tree's gonna stand up right. And then once I've got it where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the fabric around the tree trunk. And then I'm gonna also add some glue to the inside around it and I'm gonna press that fabric all around that tree trunk. And then I'm gonna finish stuffing my tree. If you're a hot gluer, glue that opening closed. If you're a sewer, take it to the sewing machine and sew that opening closed. And then once we get this done, we're going to start decorating. That's the fun part. First up, I want to like distress my tree. So I'm taking the open end of my scissor blades and I'm running it along the edges of the fabric that I've left out. And so it frays all the edges and makes it really rustic and primitive looking. So this is what it looks like when all the edges are all frayed up. And now we're going to distress our tree a little bit. Now you can skip all of this step if you don't like the distressed or rustic or kind of primitive look. I've just got some ink here that you can get in the scrapbook section of like Joann's, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby, rubbing some brown ink on it. And now this is some cheesecloth here. I've cut off about a four inch strip and it's probably oh, about 24 inches in length. And I'm just going to tie it into a bow here nice and loosely. I want it to kind of look all puffy. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the ends off of the tails because they're, you know, a little bit too neat. And I'm going to fray it a little bit just to kind of get those threads hanging, match our tree. And then I'm going to take uh, a water bottle here and I'm going to squirt my muslin here or my cheesecloth. I mean, scrunch it up and then I'm going to take my heat tool and dry it. So once it dries, that scrunched up shape will remain. Now I'm gonna take that same ink and I'm gonna rub it along on my bow here. Again, you can skip all of the step if you want your tree to just look a more nice and neat looking. This is more of the rustic kind of primitive look. And I'm, you know, keep stretching my bow out and keep adding the ink and adding it darker in some places to really make it look all nice and dirty. And then once that's done, set your bow aside. We're gonna work on our tag. Now our tag is a two-part fabric tag. The first part with the quote, the second part another piece of fabric, and it'll look like the tag on the left when we're done. Now what I printed on, this is linen paper. You can get in the open stock section of Michael's and you actually can run it through your printer and print on it. And then I sewed it, or you can hot glue it, to a piece of fabric for the backing. And then I just kind of scrunched on it and, you know, pleated it and pulled around the edges to distress it, crumpled it, add ink on it like we did the ink for the tree just to make it look all nice and rustic. And of course you can skip this step if you want. Now we're gonna go back to our tree and decorate. I have just some pieces of greenery here. I've got a rusty star, uh, beaded berries like we did on our very first project. This is some uh, berry and uh, bell, pit berry and bell garland I got from Joann's, a rusty bell from uh, Joann's as well from a pit. This is red and white twine from Hobby Lobby, regular twine, just whatever you wanna use, a little wood button here. Um, this is some distressed uh, piece of fabric that I have here. It's an old um, doily that I rip up and I do that for texture. I rip it up into pieces and use it for texture. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to just start gluing it down my greenery about probably halfway down the tree. 
and I've got three different kinds of greenery here just to give it a little bit different texture and you can use, of course just use one piece of greenery whatever you want here but just adding the three different pieces of greenery kind of bunching them up a little bit and then I'm going to add my beaded berry here now the rusty star I don't remember uh who I got them from I just know I got them on eBay I did a search for uh, I think it's two inch rusty stars and you know ordered what I wanted so got my berries and greenery glued down I went ahead to started gluing down my bow and then just kind of pulled it up and tucked in the rusty star underneath and now I'm just kind of gathering up my uh, cheesecloth bow and I'm just kind of gluing it down in places to make it look even more gathered especially the loops so they don't just kind of droop off the sides I'm kind of you know scrunching them up and gluing it down I'm adding in my ripped piece of doily here I know this might be funny to some of you but look at the great texture it adds right against that star so just rip up an old piece of doily or whatever you can find those little um uh, pieces at Dollar Tree that look like the lace in the kitchen section you can take that and kind of rip it up that would work great so just kind of adjusting everything here and I'm going to add my red and white twine bow here again this twine we got from Hobby Lobby add another piece of that ripped doily I'm going to tie it around this little uh, rusty bell here again this is a rusty bell pick I cut up in sections uh, and the pick I got from Joann's and I'm gonna kind of use the ink to you know add ink to my button and again inked up that little piece of doily that I wrapped around this little bell here okay now I'm gonna go ahead and glue my little pit berry bell garland and glue my tag down first kind of right under that bow a little bit I've got some working time with this glue you got it takes about 15 seconds to tack about 30 seconds to kind of stick good and about a full minute before it's set so that's why I can like glue down the bow and then kind of glue the tag up underneath it you know but just kind of gluing things where I want it add the little button over here underneath that bell area and then this twine that I tied into a bow I'm actually gonna stick it up pull up my tag and glue it right underneath on that right side just to give it a little more texture hanging down and now we're going to add an even more primitive look and yes I'm using instant coffee and I have this 3d matte gel it's like a transparent uh, artist mixed media but if you don't have that you can use like Fabri-Tac or any kind of glue but make sure it's a clear glue and what I like to do is dip my paintbrush into my matte medium you could even use like a Mod Podge you know it dries clear and then I paint it on wherever I want this glue and then I dump the coffee on into the spots anywhere I want it this is going to kind of give us a primitive look and the tags I used I didn't mention earlier the quotes I use on my tag are all quotes from the uh, Chevy Chase Christmas Vacation movie I love that movie we watch it every year so you know kind of made it fun on my trees and once I get this uh, coffee mixture in and around where I want it on my tree I'm gonna spray my tree with this spray glitter give it even more of a look here and then we're going to attach our tree to our base and I'm adding a little bit of wood glue I pre drilled the holes into my little tree trunk and into a wood slice I have here and I'm going to screw this wood slice onto my tree trunk and when this is done this project is complete here is the set of three trees all finished up I love how rustic they are and how primitive they are and it was so fun adding the twist to it with the Christmas Vacation movie quotes on there. I hope you enjoyed all the projects that we did today. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video from me. Also, remember to leave a comment, especially if you want to be entered in the Friend Friday Hop Giveaway. I wish everyone a wholeheartedly good luck. I can't wait to see who the winner is. In the comments, let me know which project was your favorite and which one you are hoping to try out. Don't forget to click on the link in my description box, which will take you to the next video of the crafter in this hop. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.